Hey friends, welcome to another video. In this video, I thought I'd just give a quick overview and talk a bit about the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 device. Before getting mine, I watched quite a number of YouTube videos on the device, you know, and reviews and such, but I never found any that specifically showed people working on actual device, you know, like doing certain things like actual video editing, video editing for 360 footage, coding, you know, specific things that I wanted to see or know and be sure that the device would handle those kind of tasks. Yeah, I thought I would just demonstrate and show my experience using it while performing those certain tasks. So I, I did a number of things using the Insta360 Studio app and, you know, editing some 360 footage there as well as editing some video footage in DaVinci Resolve. I also did just some general stuff like you know surf, surfing the web, YouTube, the normal basic kind of things. Also did a bit of coding, not too intensive. Yeah I hope I hope this can be informative and help you if you're thinking of you know getting a Surface Pro 8 or even the 9. It's it should be very similar. Quick note on my experience with Microsoft, I initially received a Surface Pro 8 which had a bit of an issue in that every time I unplugged the power cable, it suddenly just lagged so, so much, so, so much so that it was just, you know, unusable, especially for the specs of the device and, you know, the level of the device, you wouldn't expect such a thing to happen, so, anyway, luckily I got in contact with Microsoft tried to do some things. I had already reset the, the device I think two or three times and that didn't solve the issue so in the end they, they were quite efficient and they came and picked, it, picked up the device and within a few days I had a new replacement device which uh, which now works really well so more than happy with it and the experience with Microsoft was really efficient and it was really good. So a few specs of the device. It's a 256 gig hard drive. It's an i7 as well as 16 gig RAM device. So yeah, let's let's get into some of the things and let's check it out. downloaded the Insta360 software, studio software, uh, which I use with my Insta360 ONE X2 to record 360 footage and you know I pulled in the footage, I reframed it a bit, just what I normally do and you know yeah it, it worked all, it worked well, it was seamless, I managed to export the footage uh, with no issues, no overheating, no lagging, nothing like that. So in terms of the 360 footage and software, it was just pretty sweet, pretty efficient, very happy with that.
performing some general tasks, you know, such as word processing, YouTube, surfing the web, those kind of things. It's very smooth, very fast, very efficient. Then onto the main thing which I really wanted to know before I got mine was video editing. So I downloaded DaVinci Resolve, installed that, that was agreed. Went on as if uh, my, my normal day-to-day -day sort of low of video editing, pulled in footage, uh, did a bit of edits, cut, added music, the usual stuff, and it was all fine, it wasn't lagging. Uh, just to note, it is only full HD video that I was that I was using. I did try with 4K and it did lag a little bit, but that was kind of expected because, yeah, even another high-end laptop that I used, it also lags with 4K footage. But if you want to avoid that, you can make use of proxies. And if you don't know how to do that, just uh, just YouTube that. A lot of tutorials on how to do that. Because what it does, it, it then just basically lowers the resolution of your footage while you're editing so that when you when you play back your footage, it renders at a much, much lower resolution and then you avoid that whole lag or slowness. Likewise, you can do that in DaVinci Resolve on the Surface Pro 8. You just need to enable proxies and all that and you should be good to go. So yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to edit 4K footage as well. Otherwise, it was really good. I did keep my power cable connected while editing. I think you should be able to edit for one or two maybe three hours if you're lucky I guess but yeah small quick edits shouldn't have a problem without the power
too, too intensive coding in VS Code, Visual Studio Code, and mostly sort of JavaScript. It's very, still very efficient. I didn't run anything too intensive. I didn't run any web apps or anything like that that use a lot of resources. I do still want to try install Visual Studio and, you know, try to run some web apps that I work on on there and see how that fares on the Surface Pro. So I'll give that a shot and let you know how that goes. Hopefully it should be fine. That's about it. I think that was all good. If you have any concerns or and you want to know about a specific software or application, how it runs on the Surface Pro, please do leave it in the comments. And uh, yeah, if there's any common sort of tool or software, I'll definitely try to throw it in and, and let you know how my experience is with it, just to help you before you buy yours. I've also rearranged my whole desk setup. Hopefully we'll make a video about that soon. But otherwise, if you want to check my, my previous desk, desk setup, uh, yeah, check out the video over here.